Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another heavy metal diecast video and another one of our 170 second scale armor reviews. And today we've got ourselves something a little bit different. I always like a little bit different. And we have ourselves an SDKFZ9 FAMO. Well, predominantly you'd probably know these as a, more of a transport utility vehicle. Now these were a German heavy half track used during World War II, of course. And as I said, they were mainly used as prime movers for towing. And around 2,500 vehicles were built between 1938 to uh, 1945. And uh, some of special variants were made, like this particular one we do have here. In 1940, 15 SDKFZ9s were actually fitted with the 88mm flat gun to be used in an anti-tank roll. And that thing absolutely is a monster sitting on the back of that half track. And I reckon it does look absolutely great. Uh, what we'll do is we'll actually open this acrylic case and have a little look at this beast of a half track. Uh, it, it is very unusual. Uh, as I said, there was only 15 of these conversions done. And I mean, that 88 millimeter was a tank killer from a, a long way away. It did have some absolutely awesome range. And you can see the details on this. It, it is quite well done. And it looks fantastic. It's got some unit markings there. We'll have a little look. You can see the actual um, the actual legs there. Because these uh, do actual fold out. Like not on this, but on the actual real vehicle. These platforms will fold out. And these legs will stabilise that. So the actual crew can walk around while this gun is being fired. Does that 88? Yeah, yeah, the 88 does uh, move up and down, of course. I don't think there's going to be any sideways. No, it doesn't move side to side, but it does elevate up and down. So we've got a little bit of movement. And uh, I reckon it does look really nice. The actual mesh itself does look like it's sort of printed on a, a sort of a plastic sort of square that's put in each of those sections. As you can see with the reflection of the light, I think it's sort of like a printed on there with some black ink. It's not actual mesh. But the die cast parts itself does look very nice. It does have some great track details. The paint application is very nice. It is that late war paint. It does come up really good. And it is, it is such an unusual looking looking vehicle, of course. You don't often see half tracks converted like this. And I mean, this is not a small half track. If you can see with my sausage fingers there, it is quite a large vehicle. But it is, this is, this does look really nice. I, I think it is a great looking uh, piece of military machinery for sure. And obviously this one is being used in Italy in 1944, as it says on the base plate there from the 26th Panzer Division. And uh, we'll... We'll start winding this video up. Uh, we'll put this on the deck, and uh, as I said, you know, it is a reasonable size. It does, it is quite large. And of course, if you enjoyed what you saw today, like me, throw us one of those. And of course, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so. And this is by D. Augustini. It is the SDKFZ9 Famo with the 88 millimeter flat gun. And uh, as I said, only 15 of these would be made. Alright guys, I will wind this video up so uh, you would have seen the photos at the start. Check out this on the turntable of course without these all over it and uh, you will check this out in a little bit more detail. Once again, thank you very much for spending your valuable time watching another one of our 172nd uh, Military Armour reviews. I hope you enjoyed the content today and you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers guys.